The whole world is enthralled in celebrating December 25 as we have been trained and programmed through various media and authorities that give us this day as a holiday. And a lot of us and a lot of humanity believes that Jesus, who early Christians taught was God, was born on this day. You go to uh, Philippians 2.6, it says, though he was God, referring to Jesus. You go also to Titus 2.13, he said, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God, then they say, and Savior Jesus Christ. This is what humanity believes. This is what humanity follows, that God had a day of birth. We want to say that uh, the winter solstice, a theory found in the history of religions, hypothesizes that the church chose December 25 as Jesus' birthday, Dais Natalis Christi, to appropriate the Roman winter solstice festivals, Dais Natalis Solis Invicti, birthday of the unconquerable sun, or unconquered sun, which was a pagan festival. And Dais Natalis Solis is a happy soul invictus, which is Merry Christmas to billions today across the ages. You can see on this diagram a ceiling on the mosaic Christos Helios, the mosaic of soul in Masolium M, which is interpreted as Christ's soul, Christ the Son. The detail of this vault is Masolium Julie from the necropolis under the St. Peter's in mid 3rd century Rome, a Vatican uh, uh, necropolis under St. Peter's Basilica on the ceilings of the tomb of the Julie, representation of Christ as the sun god Helios also Invictus riding on his chariot and with his uh, horses in the 3rd century AD. We are witnessing here the making of a date, the making of a god, God with us, Jesus, which is coming through the whole world through Christmas deception, which has deceived billions who do not know the dark truth behind Christmas. If you are reminded of a sinister motive that is deceiving billions, and that Jesus Christ is your savior and he was born on this day and you are celebrating his birthday, whether you are a Christian or not, what would you say? We want to look at two strands concerning the history and the making of this deity. We are witnessing the making of a deity across the ages. And today, a lot of us are participating in the manufacture of this deity. Inscribed about what is 500 years BCE on the walls of the temple in Luxor, are these images of the Annunciation, the Immaculate Conception, birth and the adoration of Horesu, now given in the New Testament as the Annunciation, Immaculate Conception and birth of Jesus Christ. This was all announced by Jehahute, who announced to the Virgin Isisu that she will conceive Horesu with the help of the Holy Ghost, which is the Ankh, which was impregnating a virgin. And the infant was born attended by the three kings or the magi bearing gifts. The three kings and the magi are the stars in the uh, belt of Orion. The church of Rome changed the date of the birth of Jesus to 25th of December for a purpose and for a goal. The Ethiopian church and the Orthodox Tawedo church celebrates Christmas on January 7th. So one sees uh, that much of what is called Christianity today the gospel, the message, the preaching, the death, the resurrection, the birth, the virgin birth came from ancient African astronomical as well as cosmological allegories and mythological allegories. The birthday of Jesus was originally celebrated on the 6th of January as we have already alluded to, but today we are told it is on the 25th of December. But did Jesus exist? Was he God? Where did he come from? How could he have so many days and dates of birth? Another strand that is known by a lot of millions is that when we say Merry Christmas and uh, announce it as the day of the birth of a deity, we should never forget that there has never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form of any race, creed, or color by the name of Jesus Christ, also known as Serapis. You can read this, the historical origin of Christianity by Dr. Walter Williams, to find how Jesus never existed but was created by humans, inspired by a sinister force to do so. Let's look at the history of how Jesus came about. It is very interesting because Inkunzi Mnyama or Inkunzi Mzini or Inkunzi Esbaya 
is a tradition that is found among the melanin dominant human beings where a sacred bull is found in the crawl of a home or a family representing the ancestors in ancient term there was a bull known as apisa the video we did a few years ago sacred bull power illustrates and explains this ancestral bull issue in ancient Kamit, before the greeks conquered the north part of africa there was a sacred bull known as apisa uchisile uyachisa it was worshipped in ancient memphis located in the north of Kamit. this can be traced back to thousands and thousands of years it is important to know that in our ideology as bantus the origin of the god apisa and the sacred bull apis is the same thing this sacred cow gave birth to a sacred bull with specific signs and signals that would tell us that this is a, is a candidate to be selected as Inkunzi Esbahe. So this Apisa was then combined to Ausari, an ancestor, at the behest of Ptolemy, the first pharaoh outside of our own native pharaohs to rule and oppress our people in Northeast Africa. Ptolemy Sota, also known as the savior, was a Macedonian general who became the ruler of Hamid in 323 BCE to 283 BCE and caused a lot of havoc and disaster, one of which was the creation of Oserapis, a deity that eventually became Jesus Christ. Ptolemy Sota is very, very clear there. So Christmas or Xmas, now popularized by the Romans and tied to Janus, also connected to Dionysius, the god of wine, the god of drunkenness, January 6th, the birthday of another deity, comes from Serapis, an ancient deity created by our ancestors for the Greeks when they combined Apisa the bull and Ausari the uh, ancestor. And this is the image that comes out. And there, this is the history of your Christmas. The Greek god Serapis is Jesus in the Bible. The story of how the Greek god Serapis became Jesus in the Bible starts with the annunciation that we have seen as they wrote these stories. And also the conquest of uh, the Nile Valley civilization by the Greeks under the leadership of Ptolemy after the death of Alexander the Greek. So Serapis, 300 BCE later, became Jesus. And this Christmas is the day this God was born, according to to the church fathers in AD 320 Pope Julius one of this is disputed by others but it's a fact that he proclaimed December 25 the official celebration date for the birthday of Jesus Christ although other church fathers had different dates and the reasons but all what we need to know is that Serapis is the source and foundation of modern Jesus Christ although Jesus never existed at all years later after a long time and after the conquest by the Romans, the cousins of the Greeks, they sat down in various councils. And one of the most important councils was the Nicene Council, which was the first one held in 325 AD, May, between May and August, in a place known as Nicene, Turkey, where the council did address a number of issues. Arianism, which was the idea by one of the African bishops who refused to accept that Jesus was divine or in origin or was a god or a deity in origin, but that he can be made a deity. That's what he was agreeing to, not that he could predate his existence. What the council also addressed was the suppression of women, gave the fundamentals of the creation of the Trinity, the invention of the date of Jesus, and also settled the date of Easter. This Christmas comes out of all these machinations and movements that occurred across the ages, orchestrated by European church fathers. But why is the whole world enthralled today by Christmas? Is there another force, another power behind Christmas? Is there another date that they are not telling you behind Christmas? Yes, there is a God known as Yaldabaoth. And this Yaldabaoth is also taught in ancient Africa by books and scripts found in ancient Africa.
Yeah, the about is the same as the god Shata Ububi, so called Satan the devil today by others. He deceives conscious humans using the physical light and its frequency and in that way snares the car of your soul to it. And you think that you've got the truth and you think that this is the religion of the truth and you think that December 25 is the birthday of the sun. S-O-N, not knowing that it's S-U-N. Yaldabaoth yeah, falsely thought himself to be the creator or the source. It is Yaldabaoth yeah, who created fear, hatred, evil, and all the sectarian thinking that is all over the earth. He thought himself as a deity. He's just like Lucifer who rebelled and uh, is against the real creator. This is the teaching of our ancient ancestors. Beyond the chasm, they'll do something that we cannot explain or understand. It's the nature of divinity is also the part and the parcel of what is inside you that passes to you through your ancestry. Whether your ancestors are righteous or not righteous, your soul itself is pure, but can go to sleep. It came to us from beyond the universe, beyond the chasm, via the gods. And considering the nature of the gods, considering the nature of the spirits, involves pondering their existence, their attributes, and the relationships to us and the cosmos. If divinity is conceived by you as omnipotent, omnipresent, and as a powerful transparent force, then your idea of divine entities and the divinity in your soul, which we say the car, has to revolve in understanding the sun and another key, the ankh, and also your third eye and your spirituality as keys to cross the cosmic limits voluntarily with the divine free will that is already in you and avoid the trap of physical light but you need knowledge therefore that's why we say our book free from god gives you that knowledge gives you that starting point for you to continue to research for you to dig deeper for you to look beyond the limits of religion the limits of tribe the limits of your totems the limits of your ancestors the limits of the gods the limits of anything that you can think of and come to the chasm which is a critical point for us to arrive at but you cannot ignore the physicality that we have because it is the ancestors our righteous ancestors that opens our minds and cause us to understand that yes using the life that is in you you can be able to tr transcend the deceptions of this whole world christmas is now a day used by a deceiving date or deceiving deities even so it is clear from all the evidence that we are witnessing and to realize that yes we can actually see the creation of a date and the empowerment of a deity today on this day on this christmas day as the whole world is celebrating and people around the world whether they are christians or not celebrate and love this day but they are deceived to think that it's a time when the family and friends come together and to remember the good things they have in life they think that giving each other presents and receiving presents is good why this is good is deceptive because you are doing it on a day and participating on a day when your soul is thoroughly vulnerable to deception under the fingers the slate of hands of soul thieves like santa like the serpents like lucifer like baal yelled about set all these deceiving gods are the ones that are enthralling the whole world with christmas today the whole world is saturated by this energy of christmas of a deity that never existed but was created by the Greeks and the Romans. Just think about that. Stolen from our archives, whether it's from the Nativity archives in Luxor or via our ancestors as they created a date for Ptolemy, still, Christmas is a deceiving day. So beware, for you have been warned and advised. If you want to learn more, 
you can subscribe to our channel Amit Iburu Ethics you can like our video you can share our video you can leave a comment and you can also send us an email on joinatmanifado.com so that we can discuss and share a lot of information Marifado Family Network is international and works with everyone who is awakened in their soul melanin dominant human beings are at the front with Marifado Thank you, your Hammer Manager Topi Priest Yara by LM Tumizu Kunkani Njaganja says, have a great awakening and avoid deceptions. Amen.